Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are back with another weekly challenge and this one is absolutely terrifying. It is the hardest weekly challenge that exists in Phasmophobia. So here we go. The apocalypse draws near the hardest possible challenge, but with normal investigator speed. So if you don't know what the apocalypse is, it is a challenge that if you do it, will earn you the golden trophy right here. So we've done it, but man, is it hard. It turns every single setting in the custom difficulty up to the maximum level. And here, the only difference is gonna be that we have normal speed and which is really nice that we're not actually doing it on the full sunny meadows but on sunny meadows restricted but that is not going to mean that this will be easy in any way it's going to be tough and i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go Oh boy, so no screens, maximum ghost speed, no evidence. Uh, we do have tier three items, which is a nice thing to give us, which honestly, if you've ever wanted to get the golden trophy, now is the best time to practice for it because you don't lose any items doing this. Oh yeah, no flashlights either. What, I'm a silly, silly goober. We thought I would get flashlights, of course not. Uh, they didn't give us glow sticks though. That would be sh just fully better than having the tier three uh, UV. Here we got Ellen Jackson. Ooh. Uh, almost at seven and a half thousand cases. I've played this game a little too much. So what we're going to do here, we do have this, which is really good. The night vision. That's going to be... Without this, would we'll be fucked up. Yeah, the UV also doesn't work, by the way, because it's considered a flashlight, so it doesn't do anything. That's why I said the glow stick would be better, because I think that one works. Uh, we're going to hold two smudge sticks, which they're the tier three. That's a little annoying. I wish they weren't. Uh, tier three is actually horrendous for the... Um, for this challenge because you are well i guess we are technically not so slow for the usual apocalypse challenge it's really bad because you don't want to have the ghost freeze because you can't run away from it and i guess now we can run away from it we're also starting at zero percent sanity by the way so get ready to die um i'm gonna put this on be careful so we're gonna get an immediate hunt <laughs> this is great so we hope that we can recognize the ghost by whatever behavior it exhibits because otherwise it's going to be tough. I don't hear no ghost. That honestly sounds kind of slow. Is that I, I haven't played on 150% ghost speed in a while. It's not a revenant, that's for sure. Are the hunt oh the hunts are super short okay so there are a few things that make this easier is that because it's a small map the hunts are gonna be really short um because usually on this big map the hunts are gonna be absolutely forever I don't know where it is though hello ghost hello courtyard don't be courtyard I swear to God when we're back here yeah I think it's it's already stopped hunting don't be in here. So that means we might actually be able to place crucifixes and stuff. Okay, so this is actually blocked off. I I haven't played on Restricted Sunny Meadows. I honestly never do because it's like the worst small map by far. Um, it's throwing stuff. Do we have a smudge objective? That's actually huge. Wait a minute. Is it in here? We have no gray spirit, so I should be very careful. I think it's in here. I'm going to smudge. I smudged! Okay, good. Wait, wait, I smudged at 620. Uh, 620 on the counter here. Wait, that's actually insane. So now we get the test for uh, spirit, so we can rule out spirit. And we can also place a crucifix there, plus a candle. With these tests, you can usually never do on an apocalypse challenge, because for one, you're not fast enough to get back to the truck and back out within the, the period that your smudge stick gives you. So this does allow you to do stuff that you usually can't. I'm going to pick up a candle, pick up a... It's very bright in here. Pick up a crucifix. And then I guess we'll take... We can even take this for speed, I guess. But we'll just do... Honestly, let's do this just in case it's a mimic. We might be able to see the orbs right away. Yeah, we also want to have a paramic for... Um, for Banshee. That would be sick, dude. If we can get the, the orbs here. So it's already been a minute now, so the ghost will be able to hunt in like 30 seconds. Uh, place a candle, place a, this guy. It is cold in here, but it's never going to be freezing, so we don't have to worry about that. Keep in mind that Zero Gray Spirit is an absolute beast. Uh, oh god, I gotta take this off and turn on the night vision. Not, oh, out there, huh? You're throwing around a lot of stuff. I'm not seeing any orbs. And it is very cold in here, so I'm assuming this is the ghost room. 
So that would mean we can rule out uh, Mimic right now. I also want to keep this candle lit if possible. Um, this, is this a new map? No, this is Sunny Meadows. You might not see this one very often because I usually never play on it. Okay, so you blew off the candle. That's the first blowout. This candle will never go out by itself. So if it's ever out, that means the ghost did it. So not, right now the ghost can already hunt. So maybe this is... It blew it out again. Wait a minute. This could be spirit. It blew it out a third time, but it didn't use the crucifix there, which is strange. It's just blowing it out nonstop. Is this a is this an on Rio? <laughs> on Rio time? So I'm on top of the crucifix here because uh if the ghost hunts on top of me, I'm dead instantly because there is no grace period. Keep that in mind. That is honestly something you should never touch if you're playing a custom difficulty for yourself. Um, the grace period being zero is just fucked up. I think this actually might be either Spirit or on Rio here. It's not blowing out any candles anymore. It's been two and a half minutes since it hunted. So what I think, I mean, what we can do is just, it's hard because we can't rule out. Let me blow this out right now. Can I throw, oh wait, they made it so that you can throw it now? What? How do I turn this off? Oh, there we go. Okay, can you hunt? If you hunt within the next 10 seconds here, you are an on re okay well there you go <laughs> i'm assuming so that's too early for spirit it was actually 10 seconds too early for spirit so i'm assuming the only ghost that could and it can also not be a shade because a shade couldn't do that when i was in the ghost room so the only real explanation here is either an on rio or just a really shy other ghost which is always possible but i didn't hear anything very particular about the speed so i'm just gonna say that's probably an on rio we didn't do that many tests but like, you could obviously stick, obviously stick around, do more tests here. Uh, so we might be wrong, but that was a pretty solid, solid guess right there. It was indeed an Unreal. Look at that. That was so fast, and we actually figured it out. Five minutes? Okay, maybe this is not as bad as I thought. <laughs> okay, um, or maybe we're just... Um... I'm just not that washed as I thought. I thought I haven't done this in so long. It's going to be a real struggle, but here we are. Let's go. <laughs> All right, that's a good start. So this is one of those weekly challenges, by the way, that would be way better to actually do yourself than to do the weekly. You would get so much more money from this if you did this challenge, uh, like, with the actual custom difficulties rather than getting... What the fuck? CCTV has breached containment? Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell? The DVD I got is breach containment. Someone bring it back. What the fuck? I've never seen this. <laughs> what is going on, dude? <laughs> what are you doing up there? That's not supposed to be a thing. Report the anomaly. What the fuck? All right, that's amazing. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, grabbing two smudge sticks. <laughs> the fuck? It hit the corner and it went through the... <laughs> it went through the... Through the bounds. Someone called CJ. All right, here we go. Did you know that these are CJ's grandparents? It's a picture of CJ's great-grandparents. At least that's what he told me. I don't know if he was trolling, but <laughs> they kind of look like CJ, so I believe it. I believe it. This literally looks like CJ from, like, <laughs> if he was born 100 years ago. <laughs> Mayo Gray, thank you for the 25. Hello? No hunt, huh? Shade? CJ with a cool stash. <laughs> That's strange. So the breaker's also obviously broken. We got to ding the bell for good luck. I forgot that last time. This is very slow on the hunt, so I'm going to say bye-bye uh, demon. Definitely no demon. Did I turn off the difficulty setting or something? What's going on here? How is it still not hunting? Um, is it a shade in this room right now? What, what kind of setup do we got? Because oh, every time, by the way, if you do restrict it, you get a random spawn of Sunny Meadows. So in this case, I'm assuming it's going to be the left side. Yeah, so the left side is open here. Oh, it is hunting right now. What the fuck? It started hunting as soon as I walked away. Okay. So this area is available. You can see that's blocked off. So the chapel is available. None, none of the downstairs area and that area right there. But I can't go there right now because it still gets locked. Even though it's a small map, which is very fucking annoying. There's no cursed item, because cursed items are too easy, <laughs> according to the... Oh, there we go. Um, According to this challenge. It's also heavy rain, of course. You're all the way back there. Are you some... You're a weird guy. It's going to be very scary. 
I have a hiding spot over there, right? Or is that not this one? Uh, this door is open, which is making me a little nervous. I might die here. Hello? Ghost? Are you back here? Did you fucking blast open this door? Did someone get shot here, by the way? What's the story here? Because the door is also broken apart. All right. What is this hunting behavior, man? Is this a miling? It's hunting? What? Excuse me? How am I alive? What? Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Is that a- I can hear it now. Where the fuck did I come from? Okay, I smudged it at like 13, 40 or something. That was scary as hell, man. It came out of nowhere. It was so up close immediately. Was that a miling? Miling for- I mean, it gotta be, right? Who the fuck could sneak up on you like that? You piece of shit. Because I couldn't hear anything. It sounded normal speed, and then it came around the corner, and it suddenly was there. I don't know if it was glitching out my equipment. I'm gonna say that's a Myling. Get me the hell out of here. That was spooky. Myling jump scare? What the fuck? Okay! <laughs> so it was the first thing we thought. So it just didn't hunt for it. Maybe that's what happened. It just didn't hunt for so long. So as soon as I touched the light switch, that wasn't actually already like halfway through the hunt. It just started hunting. So it just started really close. You piece of shit. I mean, that was what we said before that. You see how long that took? That was a single hunt. Oh wait, no, it was two hunts. What the hell was that, man? Four minutes of just <laughs> super quiet behavior. All right, anyway, here we go. That's taking forever to load, man. Ronald Shellen. Uh, you really want to see the cleanse the ghost objective because it is uh, super useful for knowing if you actually hit your smudge stick on the ghost Which especially in a challenge like this where it's really important to know that the ghost can't hunt at the moment um, Also, my game is frozen. There we go. Thank you so much uh, I am at least glad that they gave us the tier 3 imagine this with no tier 3 head cam It would have been absolute disaster Iris R, thank you for the six, which I guess was how it was before the item upgrade, so thank you. Let's see, let's see. No haunt, huh? Ding the bell for good luck. Ding it twice. Did they lower the bell sound or Oh, I have my volume a little quieter. There we go. If you are a Dio, I will be so happy. Oh, it's hunting? Hunting? What, what we have the downward downstairs spawn? It's the, to the left downstairs. Wait, actually, no. It's to the right downstairs? Okay, right downstairs. It's in the spooky area. That sounded normal, but a little strange. Hello there, buddy. You over here somewhere? I think I'm gonna smudge it during the hunt so we can test for- Did they make it? Or is this just something that they were gonna change? Did they make it so that your head camera now glitches out during a hunt or what? Or is that so- They said that in like a dev preview one time, but I think that... They haven't made that change yet? They haven't done it yet. Yeah, okay. That's coming for the future. Honestly, the dev previews have been so long ago that it's so confusing. Like, they're, <laughs> they're still not in the game. Hello there, Scream. Uh, buddy? Don't- don't insta-kill me with the no grace period, please. Don't be a wraith or some shit. It's cold out here, that's scary. I'm gonna be back here where I can hide. Behind this area. Right there. Buddy! What is happening? Is this a shade? Is this actually has to be a shade, right? How is it not hunting? Brother. Excuse me? <laughs> it's not hunting at all. <gasps> it's like in this hallway. And it can't hunt because of that. What if I walk in here? Is it gonna hunt immediately? What if I just sit here for like 10 seconds? Oh! It has to be a shade. It has to be a shade? I'm gonna smudge. I'm gonna smudge! That's... Insanely shady behavior, bro. 
I smudged it at uh, like 1850 or something. As soon as I, s I was in the ghost room, no hunch for a minute. On, fuck you. On zero sanity apocalypse mode, I step out insta hunt. <laughs> Is it actually a shade or are we getting trolled again? The fuck, man. I guess we could, I mean, it didn't seem any special. Was that a, was that normal blinking? It was definitely not phantom blinking. It's definitely not this. It's definitely not they or Dio or Moroi or Raichu. That would be way more obvious. Uh, it sounded extremely loud, so not that guy. Uh, I didn't see it swap. Not a haunt, actually. Probably not a haunt, too. It was fast. Yeah, that's because it's supposed to be fast. We're playing at 150% go speed. Uh, I don't know if it's sped up. The fuck was that? Excuse me. Haunted would have breath, you're right, and we didn't see that, so that's definitely not it. But for sure it can't be a demon. Um I'm just really inclined to say I mean I guess we could test for shade by like grabbing a sm or a, a crucifix or some shit. It's not it's been over oh it's already been a minute and a half since I smudged. So I'm gonna have to run. We should test for sh for spirit though, for sure. It's probably not going to be a spirit. I mean, I would say shade right now, but I don't want to get trolled. Is it hunting again? It's still not hunt. Let's just, just count when it hunts here. It can hunt now already for like 20 seconds if it's a normal ghost, right? Or am I, do I have my counter wrong? Yeah, for tw yeah, for 20 seconds. It should have been able to hunt already. And it's still not hunting. This is such a shade, bro. Okay, there we go. Now it hunted. That was a 30 second late hunt on zero sanity, which I guess happens, but definitely no spirit though, at least then. So what can we still rule out? We can still rule out, um, we can't rule out Jin, by the way, because there's no breaker at all. Twins, I mean, I guess we would have to listen a little more closely. Um, Wraith if we're being salt. I think what I'm going to do is salt and can salt, candle, and crucifix. Then we can rule out Wraith on Rio. Um, and we can also rule out shade that way because if the ghost doesn't uh, Or hunts when we are in the room, then it's not a shade, but I guess this range is so big It might still do that. We'll see. Uh, anyway, we're gonna grab this. We could also grab paramike for um, oh, yeah Maybe check for mimic. I feel like we would see something else for mimic. We would be super trolled Let's get the salt and the candle Just the, just a classic setup. We already saw it on Rio. We can try again. Uh, so it could hunt immediately again, which, yeah, okay. <laughs> which is a little unfortunate, because I don't have a smudge stick right now. Okay, so now it hunted immediately. Now I'm a little torn. What a strange guy you are. Someone's cooking bacon over here. Some yummy bacon. These hunts should only be like 30 seconds, or I, they should be longer than that, but... Okay, that was, though, this was super short hunts. Is it over? Oh, yeah, I need to grab my... Let's just leave this here. Grab this and get the crucifix in the ghost room. I think this is... Oh, it, the ghost is in this room somewhere, right? I'm gonna place it right there. And then I'm gonna bring the salt. And then we'll bring the candle afterwards. I want to make sure that I hold a crucifix at all times. You can also slow it down. Fuck. Okay, it's slower. Smudge! Help! I'm gonna have to hide right here. Don't kill me, please. Fuck. Okay, I smudged it around 23 here. No! <laughs> no, you bitch. I'm gonna say shade. I definitely stepped in the salt. So there's not a wraith. I don't know if it's an oni though. I couldn't see. Was that oni blinking? It looked like kind of strange. On the first hunt, I had like in my brain, I was like, wait a minute. Don't be oni. It was a shade, you piece of shit! <laughs> Got him! Okay, so that actually totally counts. What a fucking troll, dude. Two shades in a row. Are you fucking kidding me? I failed twice. I'm getting tro I'm getting trolled by shades. <laughs> so that was, that was fine. It doesn't matter if you live or not. 
Because uh, for the weekly, you don't lose any items anyway, so it's completely pointless. Let's go. Total victory right there. Eat shit. So that is actually a really good example of how the shade cannot hunt if you're in the room with it. So because it was in the hallway and I was in the hallway, it couldn't actually hunt. Um, it was just it was just sitting there like, when are you going to leave this room? Anyway, I should have just left with that, I guess. What do we got? We got Paul Brock. We have cleanse again. Okay, that's really useful. Cleanse. We find the ghost room. So we need to do it one more time. Honestly, so far it's been fine. One fail and three no evidence, no sanity bullshit shenanigans is pretty fine. Hello there. Where are we going to go this time? We're going to go right. We're going to go middle, I think. That's totally fine. As long as it's not courtyard, I'm fine with that. That's so unlucky, by the way, that it just walked into that room. Because it just randomly decided to kill me. Creepy Katsumi, thank you for the 34. No hunt? On the other side, maybe? No hunting at all, huh? Imagine it's in this room and I just explode. Oh, it's hunting now. It dang the bell! Definitely not a miling. Hello, buddy! Okay, interesting. It was ding ding dinging the bell. Uh, where did that even come from? Did it come through here somewhere? I'm a little confused. No Dio, that's for sure. No Dio, no more. Well, Raichu, we can't really tell, but definitely none of these guys. None of the super fast boys. I'm just gonna sit right here. Because I have two crucifixes, right? I wanna see if it's a yokai or not. That's for yokai by being close to the wall here. Hopefully, it's not in this room. Imagine it's gonna be another shade in this room. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so, I could already hunt now, obviously. After 25 seconds between each hunt, the ghost can hunt again. Uh, it blew out these candles here. Uh oh. Wait a minute. That's concerning. Wait a minute. Red Nation gives you for the super sub. It blew out those two candles on Rio. Okay, def- wait, 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 wait. Is that my freezing breath? I think that is my freezing breath. All right, goodbye, cruel, goodbye, cruel world. I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Uh, definitely not a shed. That's for sure. Definitely not a Raichu. Did it get any faster? It didn't see any breath, right? That was my breath, I'm pretty sure. Right? Did it speed up? Then it can't be a haunted anyway. Hello, buddy. So we smudged it. I didn't even know the time at all there. 27, I think, something like that. Okay, the hunt's probably over. I'm gonna leave that there for a second. I'm pretty sure that was my breath, but... Because it, it was like ahead of the ghost, right? <laughs> it wasn't where the ghost was at all. I'm pretty sure that was mine. Like, the ghost wasn't even there yet. I left that behind. So we're gonna grab a crucifix and then look for orbs maybe and a candle. How is that gonna work? I don't know, we'll see. It's a rev, I didn't hear any footsteps. That's not how that works. Yeah, it didn't follow me, so maybe it's a yokai. You can't check orbs on computer, but. I'm just gonna sit back here. Okay, that covers this whole area here. Let's see. So then I'm safe here, so I can check for Orbeez. If it's a Mimic or some shit. Obviously, it's it's not very cold here right now, because now I'm not breathing anymore. Which is a little confusing that it might be haunted. I should grab my Crucifix, or my Smudge Stick here. <laughs> I shouldn't be stupid. Where did I drop it? I thought I dropped it there. there we go. Always hold on to a Smudge Stick. Wait. Oh, I need to put the candle. Whoops. Put that there. You don't want to be without a smudge stick when you're playing this difficulty, because the ghost will always be Im immensely fast. Leave that there for a moment. Hopefully the ghost is going to stay in this area. So we're going to test for Unreal, but that's 
Unlikely. Oh! Hello, buddy! Okay, walked in here immediately. I'm gonna swatch run! Fuck, okay, I smudged it at what was that was not a yokai probably. Although we have to keep in mind that the way yokai or the way ghosts work is that it will there's a 50% chance that it'll go to the location it last saw you in the previous hunt. So because it saws in that room, um even if it was a yokai, it has a 50% chance to just go straight back into that room after the hunt is over. Uh so that could be how it fools you thinking it or into thinking that it's not a yokai. They're they're adapting. Yeah, definitely not a haunted, that's for sure. No obake, I would say as well. I have uh let's grab this. And then grab some salt so we can test for Wraith here. This is fast, what level is this? This is crazy how many people think that this is a new map because I haven't played on this map in like months at this point. <laughs> people are like, wait, I've never seen this one. <laughs> yeah, if you have only recently started playing Phasmo and have vicariously lived through my videos, I don't think you've seen this map very much because I don't tend to go here all that often. We can do another apoc true apocalypse challenge. It blew out this candle during the hunt. This is, this is not point hope. No, not, not yet. So you're back there. It should already be able to hunt, I'm pretty sure. I kind of want it to not come here, and then I put on my head or my my headset thingy, and then it comes here. Heal. Cleanse, sacrifice, heal. Burn. These are like all references to the six becomes one here. Six becomes one thing. Which is the... If you have all cursed possessions, do you even need the monkey ball for that? Um, then you get a special interaction here, which is really cool if you light the summoning circle. Okay, this guy is not hunting now. It can be a spirit, though, for sure, because it hunted too early. Um, it was not a phantom. That's 100% certain. It is probably not an obake. I mean, maybe. What the fuck? Let's get the shit out of me. Okay, so it's not an Onrio either. Holy crap. <laughs> is it like teleporting to me? Maybe it is a Wraith. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a Wraith. Bruh. Brother? That's why I'm glad I have that. So we can always fill in Wraith and die here. This is spooky. I'm gonna stand on this salt. We can at least test if it's a Wraith as we are dying. Because it'll walk on top of the salt. <laughs> it definitely teleport. And it's also st st not here, or or it is here. But it's not stepping in the thing. So not oh, there, it's throwing and it walked through all this area without stepping. I mean, it's clearly a wraith, but I just wanted to hunt so we can see it physically walk through the salt without stepping in it. Oh, here we go. Hello there, buddy. Let's see. Yup! <laughs> Look at that! Nothing at all! Oh god, I gotta walk through this. That is so clearly a wraith. That's super cool! So we had three ghosts in a row that had really clear behavior. The on And in completely different ways, we figured it out. The Onrio was by going into the ghost room and putting down a candle. The uh, shade was by being in the ghost room and just not hunting at all, which was kind of an accident because it was in the hallway. And then this one was obviously just salt, which that is actually something you can do, which this shows you... This is definitely not equivalent to the actual hardest challenge because the difference here is massive like you could basically never test you cannot test for shades on the truest hardest difficulty nor can you really test for an unreo ever on the truest hardest difficulty the main reason is that you are just so slow that you cannot get into the ghost room without dying in the process like bringing items to the ghost room is almost impossible but yeah unless this is a mimic and i got mega trolled this should be an easy wraith plus five thousand dollars there you go. It was indeed a wraith. Let's go. We got the tier three parabolic microphone. 5,000. Was that two levels? 
I leveled up from 70 to this. So yeah, that was really fun. And if it is, if you've ever wanted to get this trophy, now might be a good point to it. Or at least dip your toes into if you can figure out ghosts based on no evidence very well in this situation. Because you have to go to that specific map. It's, it's obviously tuned down quite a bit compared to the actual one. But this still is like the hardest difficulty that they have in the weekly challenge. Because they don't have a... Um, they don't have an actual true apocalypse in the weekly like this is the closest we get to it so yeah let me know this is the one time or one of the many times which is sp sp specifically this time that i really would like to hear how this one went for you and i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game share and chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash the link in the description down below thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye